The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the March 11th, the uh, Thirsty Thursday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, during this next 16 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, you can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tiger's Den. Well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Thursday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Les Show. A green board out here. You've got the uh, all the U.S. indices trading the upside. The Dow's up 333, S&P 62, NASDAQ 364, Russell 41, Semis 135, Tranny's 176. We can go on and on. Spot volatility is well below its 50-day exponential moving average. That puts the S&P 500 in bullish territory. Gold's up three bucks, silver eight cents. Lights recruit up a buck 47. 30-year Treasury totally flat, leading the charge dollar-wise to the upside. Mercado Libre up 135 bucks. Man, that's a move. 1571 is what she's printed. Amazon up 68. Google 69. Shopify 60. Chipotle up 44. To the downside, Credit Acceptance Corp off 6%, 24 bucks. NV5 Global down 15. That's 14%. Celsius Holdings off 12. That's 20%. GameStop. I eh, forget GameStop. Granger WW Worldwide off 693. And Group One Automotive down 5 bucks or 3%. So let's go take a look at the uh, markets out here. Get a feel for what they're doing, what they're not doing. Let's start by taking a look at our quad chart out here. Our quad of the ES, the NQ, the YM, and the Russell 2000. We'll be rolling these from the March contract over to uh, June this evening. Right now, as we take a look, and I don't, I don't know if anything's going to change much from a profile standpoint, but the ES Mini, if the ES Mini can close above today, the high from February 16th, that's at 39.59.25, you're 39.54 right now, the ES will have negated its topping pattern. It'll be in all-out bullish mode. I'm not saying it's not bullish right now, but if you take out a actual valid, confirmed, top well then that pattern gets negated off to the upside the nq which confirmed a buy the d point or a gartley buy pattern it did that on the trading day of march the 5th generated a nice uh, bullish reversal signal you've got a nice bullish structured profile price should target 13 to 16 15. if price closes above that that tells you that the uh, this gartley buy is going to turn into a move that likely retests the highs or takes them out that's in the 13 900 level the dow it is uh, moving and shaking to the upside new all-time high We'll go take a look at another set of charts to come up with its price projection. The Russell 2000 has negated its topping signal, at least at this stage of the game. And that would require it's trading above as long as it closes above. That's the high from February 10th. That high is 23.16.90 or 23.23 right now. It, too, would be in all-out bullish mode. So where are these things headed to if they're taking out the resistance of their topping signals? Well, in the case of the ES Mini, the next price target to the upside would be 41.04. You're at 39.53. I'm not suggesting that that's where price stops, but that would be its next price projection. 
we take a look at the NASDAQ. Well, in the NASDAQ, we already took a look at its daily profile, 13216, that it needs to get to. If it can take that out, the next profile level of resistance is the weekly bullish structured profile formed three weeks ago. 13759 would be where it would be headed to. If we take a look at the Dow, the Dow's next stop to the upside. This is, again, longer term, not tomorrow. But prices above the 1.272 expansion, Fibonacci expansion of its last set of major swing points, the 2020 high and the 2020 low. And that gives us a price projection of 36,125 out there. So everything looks very bullish in the case of the Russell 2000. Its next price target, and you can see it is above the 1.618 expansion of its major set of swing points, which was the high in 2018. That used to be the all time high and the low in 2020. This suggests the Russell 2000 is going to make a move up to the 2571 level. Now, remember, price still needs to close above the uh, topping signal, February 10th high, 2316.90 out there. So that's what those instruments are doing, and that's the bigger picture as we speak at the moment. If we take a look at the New York Stock Exchange, New York Stock Exchange is going to show an advanced decline oscillator reading that's up at the 121 level. I would assume that, um, well, I won't assume anything. We'll see what happens. As price approaches the 150 level, that's where we should see. That's when the New York Stock Exchange will get into the overbought territory. And then we should see some kind of retracement or pullback. We're not there today. Or we're not there yet today. I don't know if we'll get there today. Uh, but something for us to be looking at over the next couple of days out there. That's Bot Volatility X. Below its 50-day exponential moving average, uh, that moving average at 24.10. You're trading at 21.60 right now. Looks like it wants to head lower, that lower level at least, 20.74. That's what the spot volatility is doing. Why do we pay attention to the 50-day exponential moving average? Really simple. Generally speaking, if you take a look at these yellow and green rectangles out here, they show you periods of time when the spot volatility is trading above or below the 50-day exponential moving average, and what the outcome is. So it's something that you and I absolutely pay attention to. Yesterday, we talked about the global flow of capital. Here's the uh, current update. Today is day 46 of 2021 from a trading session standpoint. And we can see that the Dow, from an equity position, is leading the charge. Leading the charge, both priced in uh, dollars, in euros, in yen, and even in pounds out here, that means it's uh, it's uh, it's exceeding the rate of change of the DAX, of the FTSE, of the Shanghai, of the Nikkei, of the Hang Seng, of the Australian S&P 200, even emerging markets out there. We're not talking about the commodities. So this is a signal to you and I that the global flow of capital may have shifted here to the U.S. And if it does, it, it takes a while because this is a big, gigantic yacht. It's a 200 meter type yacht out here so it takes a while to get things in place but if that global flow of capital is here well we go back to those price projections out there specifically we go back to the price projections for the uh, dow what that would be signaling to you and i is there ain't no way jose that price is going to go target 36,125. What it will do over time is target 40,445. But we'll take this stuff one step at a time. And the next step out here, intermediate, longer term, is going to be the 36,125 level for the Dow equity future contract out there. So we're about to go to a hard break. We come back. There are a couple of questions we didn't get to yesterday. One from Vicky wants to take a look at ticker symbol D. One for um, Hector wanted to take a look at an A to B equals CD pattern for Microsoft. And of course, I'd love to hear from you too. 877-927-6648 or Steve at TFNN.com. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, 
is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Let's get right into it. A couple of questions, again, follow up from yesterday. Microsoft was one of the questions that Hector asked about. He wanted me to put in an A to B equals CD pattern for the weekly time frame chart. So, Hector, if I'm going to draw this in there, there are several of them here. We just see this steady rise out here. But I would use the low from uh, 2020 the March low out there. That would be my A point. My B point would be the high from August 31st of 2020. Now, there were 206 million shares. We haven't had that kind of volume since. Uh, prices trading above the 230, 286, the B point out there. In the case of Microsoft, it's going to need to clear 246.13. This is a weekly time frame chart. That's where its uh, bear structured resistance level is. But the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD pattern gives you a price projection of 296.59. Is Stevie saying that's where it's going? No. I'm just drawing in the A to B equals CD pattern that Hector asked me to, to draw in. Hector, what I would be looking at here next, if that is going to unfold, there's one thing that needs to happen. And that is that price needs to take out the 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 one to two, if you will, the 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 two level, the two time um, Fibonacci expansion of its high to low. Again, the 2020 high to 2020 low. And that gets you the 248.88 area. So hope that helps you out with regard to uh, Microsoft. Uh, sorry that I wasn't able to get to that yesterday. The next question came from Vicky that was looking at ticker symbol D. That's Dominion Energy. And I believe her question is what is just to take a look at it. What does it look like out here? So first, you've got resistance out here at 73.75. That was hit yesterday. 
today. You'd like to see a close above that. If you get 73.75 or close above that, you got 74 and a quarter to 76.13. Those are the weekly profile levels. And you got 75.20, the bottom of the monthly. So D or Dominion Energy has its work cut out to get through some resistance levels. But nonetheless, it has a nice bottom out here, Vicky. On the daily time frame, generated a TD9 count bottom, generated a Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom. And what you really like is two days ago, price closed above 72.79. That was the TD9 breakdown level. This is a suggestion to you at this stage here, early stage, that there is a change in trend. Now, the next level of resistance is 74.80. That's the next TD9 breakdown area. But you do like what you saw three days ago, yesterday and today. And you'd love to see this stay above 72.79. The weekly chart out here, I don't really have much for you. Uh, to assist so it's really going to be focused in on the uh, daily time frame out here so that's what's going on with dominion energy and uh, thanks again for waiting a day we had a request from uh, the tiger's den let's get to those uh, one was from snp to take a look at u.s steel so let me actually get the u.s steel three background block charts out here or daily weekly monthly profiles out here but prices above the top of the daily above the weekly above the monthly that says u.s steel is an all-out breakout mode but let's go see if there's any kind of topping signals out here on the daily time frame well all i've got actually is the daily chart to show you snp what this tells us what this communicates to us is that price should go target 2349. 2349 is a TD9 breakdown resistance level. If price can get above that, it still has to take out one more area of resistance. And that's the high from back in, uh, looks like, uh, January. And that high, yeah, January 12th, would be 2471. But it looks positive, and it looks like it should make its run for the 2349 level. I hope that helps you out with regard to what's going on with regard to U.S. Steel. There was also a question to take a look at ticker symbol GROW. So let's go look at that. This is also from the uh, Tiger's Den. GROW is. Drum roll, please. U.S. Global Investors. So you've got a brand new profile out here. Uh, bearish in structure. And the resistance area is between 708 and 739. You're trading at 697 right now. Support is at 613. It's consolidated with inside the weekly profile as well. Let's go take a look at the white background chart, see if there's any other signal out here for its daily time frame. As we take a look at GROW, what GROW did was it formed wave number seven. That's letter G. That's a Chapman wave top. It formed a Rhodes Momentum indicator signal. That was on February 19th. It really confirmed that pattern on February 22nd when it generated that bearish shooting star candle. Now, price pulled back into support. Support was, in essence, the bottom of its bullish structured profile. Didn't get exactly down there. Exactly down there would have been about 569. It got down to a low of 582. Your resistance area out here, a Melody, is going to be, we talked about, the bearish structured daily profile, we can also see that the oscillator and change line has wedged itself inside there. So you've got your real resistance area, again, between 708, 739, and 717 is the print on the oscillator unchange line out here. Do we have any kind of a bottom signal in this pattern out here? We don't, but support held. And the new profile that formed, even though it's bearish in structure, there's a little subtlety to it, and that is at the top of that profile is above the prior top. The bottom is above the prior bottom. And that's actually a bullish message out here. But still, it's going to have a battle. Put your boxing gloves on. And that's between 708 and 739. I hope that helps you out with regard to ticker symbol GROW, US Global Investors out here. Hey, that was pretty cool. And we still have two minutes to go. Let me go check the emails now. Oh, wait, wait. We had some folks inside the uh, den. Not, I'm sorry, inside our YouTube channel. One was to take a look at a second here. Let's grow. Do, 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 do. I think uh, the first one was uh, Alibaba. So let's go take a look at Alibaba. B-A-B-A -B -A is a ticker symbol. The question is, is Alibaba in a uptrend out there? What the heck? Isn't it Baba, Alibaba, B-A-B-A? -B -A? Why am I not pulling it up? What is a ticker symbol for Alibaba? Somebody in the den, help me out here. I thought it's BABA, -B -A and I'm getting a, my, is my system shut down? Oh, that could be a problem. Oh, there, there we go. It is. Yeah, yeah, it was Baba. It is Baba. Baba Ganoush, apparently. B-A-B-A. -A. Uh, let's go get that out here. So we take a look at, as it started, what was the question? The question was, hold on a minute here. Is Alibaba now in an uptrend? 
Interesting. Let's go see if Alibaba formed any kind of a bottom out here. Uh, so it depends on what time frame it is that you're looking at. But let's go take a look at the daily time frame. So if we take a look at Alibaba, it uh, formed a TD nine count top. That was its high. It did it on the trading session of February 16th. What happens? Price pulls back and it pulls back. It breaks through one breakout level, 261.25, gets to the next level. That's at 226.29 out there. So a key level of support held. I don't really have a bottoming signal out here, uh, but support is held. Price is above the oscillator and change line. It's with inside the new daily profile. It's got resistance between 240.17 and 244.90. If you're asking me, is this the start of a new uptrend on the daily time frame? Me and I don't see that. We don't really have a bottom per se, other than price pulling back to level two support out here. So, no, I don't see that on the daily time frame. If we're going to look at the monthly time frame, well, that would give us a different picture, wouldn't it? Uh, in now, the question is, and I really should do this here. Let's see if I can do this real quickly. I can't do anything real quickly because we've got about three seconds before we go to the hard break out there. But during the break, I'll go pull up my monthly chart for, oh, maybe I can do it right this very second. Let's see. Let's pull this over. Let's look at the monthly. Let's see if we can do it while well, we've got about 10 seconds out here. And on the monthly time frame for Alibaba, no, it, the uptrend won't get going here regain itself inside Alibaba, unless price closes above Stevie's Green Line. That's at 259.56. Steve Rhodes with TFNA. Be right back. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once-in-a-generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar, silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, currently, we've got the Dow trading up uh, to 303 points, S&P 55. Let's continue with the uh, request out here. We'd love to hear from you as well. 877-927-6648. We had a request inside the Tiger's Den to take a look at uh, Apple. Uh, my apology, I don't recall who uh, requested that. But let's go take a look at Apple. I think it was Bob. And so in the case of Apple, it's got a confirmed by the D point. First confirmed to buy the D point back here on February 23rd when it generated a nice little hammer candle. But that hammer candle... Uh, uh, failed on March the 8th. But on the very next uh, candle session, you have a nice bull sash candle. So that's your bullish confirmation of your buy the A to B equal CD or Gartley buy pattern. Now, we can see that price is trading right into a resistance level. This is just slightly bearish, meaning the center is closer to the top than it is to the bottom. So price really needs to clear 122.47, really what it needs to clear if this is a true buy the D point and not just some type of counter trend rally that's going to fail. You need to see a price close above 126.22. Price did hold support of the weekly time frame. So 120.45, we know on a weekly basis, is going to be important to watch and observe. If we take a look at the white background charts for Apple, what are we going to find out here? Here, we're going to see that not only was it a buy the D point, it was also, well, let me populate it with the current signals out here. It was also a road momentum indicator pattern. Now, what price really needs to do is close above the oscillator and change line. See how it's red? See how this has been tested and rejected over the past of uh, a week or so, that level is right around where we're trading right now. The exact number for the oscillator and chain line is 122.89. We're trading at 122.75. A close above that would then suggest at least the move to 126.22. If price can take out 126.22, 136.99 becomes the price target. On a weekly basis out here, as we take a look at Apple, if I get down to that tab, come on, what's going on with my cursor? On a weekly basis, well, not really much else out there other than what we talked about, which was price holding the support of its bullish structured weekly profile out there. So Apple still needs some work to do to prove itself to it. Maybe it accomplishes that task today. And that's what we see when we take a look at Apple. Uh, any other requests? I think I've gotten everything inside the Tiger's Den. That's a wonderful thing. Looks like we've got uh, a couple other requests out here. Hector and the fuel injectors. We're working on an A to B C A B C up on Facebook. Can you please give us uh, a grade on your work out there? Okay, so let's go take a look at it. I'm not going to look at your work. I'm going to first just simply type in what I see as the A to B equals C D pattern. Now, I don't know what time frame it is you're looking at. I'm going to go with the daily time frame. Hopefully that's it. And let's expand the chart out. Oh, it's really a consolidation more than anything else out here but if i were going to draw in an a to b equal cd pattern and this is not the pattern that has been confirmed yet because the b point hasn't been taken out i would use the low here from january 14th i would use the high from january 28th and it looks like that low then came in for the c point march 4th and that would be your one to one a to b equal cd that would get you up to 295 but really all it's doing is just getting you into that consolidation uh, style mode out here. So if we pull this back, the pattern really that sticks out more so than anything else, when we take a look at Facebook, it's been this long consolidation pattern that it's been in. The bottom is really well established, right? So the bottom here, very easy to put that in. That, that really, in essence, began, you could say, back when this gapped up on July in 2020 out there. And so the bottom of the consolidation, really easy to see. I would say that the top of the consolidation, probably about right there, which really gets you up to that A to B equals CD pattern, in essence, or right in that vicinity. Uh, so you were using January 29th, just out of curiosity. Um, January 29th, I see. Yeah, you would really go back and use the 14th hectare, the lower low out there, uh, is how I would uh, is how I would look at it. But 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 really, the pattern that is in play here in Facebook is its consolidation. And it's well well set on the bottom, not so much on the uh, top out there. So you kind of have to use a little bit of subjectivity uh, to it. But you could also just use take a look at the weekly profile, and you can see resistance holding the 285-ish type level. So Hector, I hope that helps you out. Uh, thanks so much for writing in. Uh, Vic, okay, Vicky wrote back in for D, so we got through that. The next one, the last one that we've got inside the queue here is coming from Marty. 
Marty says, hey, Steve, uh, what do the charts tell us on MUX, long and short term? McEwen Mining, MUX is the ticker symbol. Let's go find out what it says to us. MUX is trading out at $1.08. It's trading with inside its daily profile. So just consolidating its stage between a buck three and a buck twelve. The weekly profile has got support at 97, resistance 139. And the monthly profile supported 78, resistance at a buck 40. So what do we know? Buck 40 is going to be a real key resistance level out here. Support wise, boy, it runs the gamut from 78 to 97 to 103. Let's go take a look at McEwen mining on my white background chart, see if there's any other signals out here to assist Marty. If we take a look at it, you like that it's trading just slightly above its oscillator and change line, but not really a great signal out here. So the daily is just kind of a chop, chop, uh, fizz, fizz. Not really a relief that it is. Um, just I'd have to say, Marty, just consolidating with inside its daily profile. We gave you those levels. That's the oh, that's the weekly time frame. Oh well, that's what popped up. So it's the weekly profile consolidation, ninety-seven to buck thirty-nine. The daily time frame. Now let's populate that. Thought I was on that tab. I wasn't. Doesn't matter. Is there any real signal out here? The only signal that this is telling you is it's out. It's not out of trouble. The only way it gets out of trouble is if price closes above a buck twelve. That's the oscillator and change line as well as the top of that daily profile. It's neither bullish nor bearish, so to speak, out here. Um, it's more neutral. That's the daily time frame. The monthly time frame. What do we have for? McEwen mining. Nice wave number seven. That's letter G at the bottom. And then just the consolidation between the 78 and 140 level out there. So, Marty, I wish there was more that I could give to you, but that's what the charts are communicating to you and I with regard to ticker symbol MUX. Hey, cool. We got through all of the requests out there, but I'd love to take more requests. So you can either send me an email, but do it quickly. Steve at TFNN.com. Again, in that subject heading, please put a radio show question or give us a call at 877-927-6648. Or obviously in the Tiger's Den, uh, go ahead and hit me up. Bingo, B-N-G-O. I believe we took a look at this uh, over the past couple of days. Yesterday would have to be the day. And this is for Joe. And Joe wants to know, I don't know what Joe wants to know. He just wants to take a look at bingo. As we take a look at bingo, this is beyond, beyond, no, beyond, beyond, beyond. I can't even pronounce it. Bio Nano. <laughs> hey, bio, I guess I can't pronounce it. It's Bio Nano Genomics out there. And if we take a look at Bio Nomo, Bio, Bio Nano Genomics, I guess I can't say it even one time relatively quickly. But here's the deal. Straight inside a bullish structured profile. Price is above Joe, the center of that bullish structured profile. Buyers should be able to push price up to 1039. Can they clear 1039? That I don't know. But 1039 is where BNGO is headed to. Price is trading above the top of the weekly profile out there. So that's another positive to suggest that 1039 is in order. Let's pull over the uh, white background chart to see if there's any other signals out here for Joe and Bio Nano. Hey, I'm getting the hang of it. And as we take a look at the white background chart, you've got resistance at the oscillator and change line. So at 1039 level, price has got to get through 10 bucks, even Steven. So that's your resistance level. And if price can close above 1039, you're looking at 1435 as its next destination. This is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be back in just a few. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today.
technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. That Dow's up 291, S&P 52. Uh, we got a couple questions that have come in. Thanks for that. Let's go to the first one. Chris B. Chris B. writes in, I bought BDSI this morning. Can you tell me what your charts say as to where it is headed? Absolutely. Let's go take a look at BDSI. BDSI is the Bio Delivery Sciences International. Now, it's trading below. It's bearish structured, bullish structured daily profile. So that's never a good thing necessarily but we're going to go take a look at it we'll take a look at it on the on the intraday charts as well it's consolidating with inside its weekly profile support would be 363 resistance 460 395 is the support level for the monthly time frame resistance 504 let's go take a look at bdsi i'll start by taking a look at the daily time frame out here right, so on the daily time frame really this is a consolidation the consolidation is in between its breakout td9 breakout and TD9 break down levels. So that's between 375 and 464 out here. That's what it's doing. What you'd really like to see this do is close above its oscillator and change line, which is red. And that's at 414. If it does that, then that says, okay, you could go up to the top of the consolidation. If it doesn't do that, you're always subject to this headed lower to about 375 out there. So that's what that is telling us. What we want to really do is go take a look at the short term charts. So here's the 30 minute time frame. And on the 30 minute time frame, here's what we see. I'm just trying to consult, move, move, get something out of the way here. You can see that back on March 5th, this generated a Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom. Nice bullish engulfing candle forms an A to B equals CD to the upside. Gets up to a, a resistance level, TD9 resistance level at 427. Gives it up at that stage. Forms an A to B equals CD to the downside. Oh, don't, it doesn't look to me like it's completed that pattern on a 30 minute time frame. Doesn't matter. Because right now, price is above the top of the 30-minute profile. It's above the oscillator and change line. And this says, okay, and it well, didn't make a lower low as price pulled back there. So a little subtle thing out there, uh, Chris. Uh, and this says, hey, 429 is open. That's the 30-minute time frame. 65-minute, I doubt we're going to have any other signals. We don't have anything else there. 130-minute, 130-minute chart. So if something's going to turn, you're going to see those patterns start to show up on the intraday time frame charts. Here you can see the TD9 count top at a resistance level, TD9 breakdown resistance, 429. Price pulls back and tests support. It does this a few hours ago. 
and when it got down to the 387 level. And while doing that, it generated road momentum indicator bottom. Right now, you've got a bull sash candle. So this looks to me like this is going to head higher. So you're in this, and this, but but we don't, what you don't know out here, Chris, is if this is going to really be able to break through the 429 level. So you may want to consider having your exit already in place on this and continue to monitor it if you see some kind of sign of strength, some volume come into it. Uh, and I hope that that helps you out with regard to uh, BDSI. That, again, is uh, Bio Delivery Sciences International. Let's go to our next request. This one coming in from, uh, from Wayne. And Wayne writes in, can you look at DSX going long today? You bet. Let's go take a look at DSX. DSX is the uh, what? Diana Shipping. So Diana Shipping is trading above the top of its daily, weekly, and monthly profiles. So from a profile standpoint, you don't have any resistance. All right. Let me get uh, DSX going. Well, let's do it here. DSX, give me a moment. We're going to let this populate. When I say let this populate, I I'm referring to the white background charts out there. And this way we can look at some multiple time frames. Here is the daily time frame. The daily time frame says you're trading above. The oscillator and change line, it's a 314. You're above the uh, profile levels, which suggests that it wants to move higher. Move higher, your target's going to be the most recent high from back in uh, February, and that's at the 378 type level. That's a daily. Weekly time frame chart, well, that looks good. It gave you a nice little buy signal last week as price pulled back in the week before. As price pulled back and tested that oscillator and change line. So this is a suggestion that price should head higher. 373 is its target. Monthly time frame, as we take a look at a DSX resistance. Here's your real resistance level. So a nice bottom, rose momentum indicator bottom, and resistance at 343 and your 322. So that's the real clear hurdle that you're going to need to uh, clear. When I say clear, I mean close above. Now, it's obviously early in the month, only the 11th out there. But nonetheless, that is still the area that you are looking for. And that is in ticker symbol DSX. On a 30-minute basis out here, what do we have, if anything, that's going to assist you. Not much. You'd like to see it hold 319. You're at 321 right now. 319 is a bullish structured 30 minute profile. And if price doesn't hold that, it pulls back and pulls back to where I don't have that signal. I, I really don't. But I would venture to say in the 290 ish type area. Are we saying that's going to happen unfold? Absolutely not. But if price did, you got two consecutive closes below 319 on a 30-minute basis. Well, that would be the signal to you. So I hope that helps you out with regard to Diana Shipping. And that was uh, Wayne. Wayne, thanks so much for writing in. So now we're through all of the requests. There's something in the uh, – well, I take that back. Uh, all you have to do is refresh the screen. And we got another one. Uh, let's go to, well, first we've got a YouTube request. This is from Charles. Charles wants to take a look at CPNG. So let's go see what CPNG even is. And that is, uh, oh, sorry, Charles. This just started trading today. There's, there's really, I, I, I mean, there's, there's not going to be anything out here, Charles, that I can give you for something that just traded today. Um, I mean, literally just trade, started trading today, and uh, there's a 15-minute chart. Yeah, there's there's a there's there's nothing here. Um, there's nothing that I'll be able to, to to share with you from a chart standpoint. Uh, let this get uh, several. Let's get several weeks worth of information, and then we come back, step in, and take a look at it. That was uh, CPNG. Sorry about that, Charles. Just nothing there. But uh, Daniel wants to take a look at. NNOX. NNOX. Sounds like a radio station in Knoxville, uh, but I doubt that that's what it is. Instead, what it is is Nano X Imaging. Nano X Imaging, oh boy, formed a nice buy the D point. And it did that on the trading session of March the 5th when it generated a nice hammer candle out there. Uh, let me see if I get uh, NNOX. Oh, I guess I had it, and then it was just updating. Okay. Uh, but price is below the bottom of its day weekly profile, so that's not necessarily great. Resistance on the daily time frame, 48.48. All right, let's pull over the NNOX chart out there. 
But again, a nice a nice little girtly buyer. Buy the D point out here. You've got everything you want. In fact, today you've got everything you want from the standpoint that price is now above its oscillator and change line. At 43.12. That says price is going to go target 48.48. Above 48.48, you're looking at 54.13. At 54.13, a close above it, you've got a change in trend signal. And that would say change in trend, I'm headed up to 73.49. But you've got a nice bottom out here. And that is on a daily basis. And that is on ticker symbol NNOX. Ride is a uh, question that has come in. Uh, so let's take a look at here. Ride real quickly. Let's do it on the black background charts. Ride, Sally, ride. And this is uh, R-I-D-E. That's how you spell it. That's Lordstown Motors. Lordstown Motors right now has got support at about 1630, between 1470 and 1630. Resistance all the way up to 2052. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back to close out the show. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call. And you, too, can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave. Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. So we're taking a look at ticker symbol R-I-D-E. Good old-fashioned large consolidation. From about the uh, 1350, 14 area, all the way up into the 31 level. Now, what you want to watch for here, this is for Mark in the uh, YouTube uh, channel. Mark, see the oscillator and change line? Hopefully you can. And how price has not been able to close above that. That's your real key level. 
So yeah, found support where it should, bottom of the profile. But in order for this to tell you that it's got some kind of mojo, and I don't have any kind of bottoming signal. We don't have any bullish reversal candles. We got nothing out here. Uh, price is going to need to close above that 1841-ish level out there. So that's what we see when we take a look at Ride. A good old-fashioned large consolidation, but price has not made its way all the way back to the bottom of that potential pattern. We're going to close out the show, take a look at ticker symbol MGNI. MGNI is, uh, come on, come on, come on. It is Magnite Inc. out here. Let's go just straight to the white background charts, or the daily time frame at least. And this formed a nice road momentum indicator top, took price all the way back to the breakout support. So it came back to the breakout level. That was 34.93. Folks, you want to learn the TD9s out here. Why? Well, one, because you're going to objectively get your breakout and breakdown levels. And you see, you're watching the show, you see how well they work out there. And it's an easy pattern to learn. A very easy pattern for you to just manually uh, tra uh, tra track on your charts out here. But nonetheless, MGNI came back, tested support. Now it's traded right up today into resistance. That's that oscillator and change line. It is green. So if, in fact, Magna, Carta, MGNI, can close about 49.52, the oscillator and change line, you're going to see 56.24. That's what we see when we take a look at the charts for that was uh, Magnite Inc. Folks, as always, thanks so much for joining me here on Thirsty Thursday. Stay tuned for two more great hours and uh, join me again tomorrow. We'll have a fun day Friday. And uh, again, thanks for being here. Be safe out there. and We'll see you again soon.